Tears of the Kingdom is a gorgeous game. And we're very lucky that with Yuzu, we are actually able to play this on our PCs at higher than the resolution that the Switch runs at. And I don't know about y'all, but having the game locked at 30 FPS when I have a computer that is very capable of running it over that just doesn't really appeal to me. So let's fix that. I can show you how to run this game at over 60 FPS up to 120 or as high as your PC can allow. I will note you are probably not going to be able to run this game consistently at over 120 FPS. I have a very powerful computer and I can't do it. So with that being said, how do we do this? It's actually pretty simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the dynamic FPS mod by Chuck and we're going to download MSI Afterburner and Reva Tuner Statistics. This should both come bundled together. When you have your dynamic FPS mod, you're going to open up your mod data location folder and drop the extracted dynamic FPS mod into your mod folder. From there, we can go to our properties. Just make sure that it's enabled. We see that it is. Cool. Then we want to set up our Reva tuner. After everything is installed, you're going to open up your Reva tuner. You're going to click add and you're going to find your yuzu.exe. Select that. And you're going to set your frame rate limiter here. Essentially what we're doing is we're downloading the dynamic FPS mod so that we don't have any weird, um, weird issues, physics issues, because we're running the game above the intended frame rate. And then we're going to uncap the frame rate limit, just let the game run wild, and then we're going to bring it back in with Reva Tuner. So once you have that set to whatever it is that you want it to set at, um, if it's 60 FPS, you do not need this video. Click out. There are plenty of mods that have uh, static 60 FPS. This is only if you want to go above that. So next, we're going to go to Emulation and Configure. We're going to go to our hotkeys. We're going to find Toggle Frame Rate Limit and set that to something that you're going to remember. For anybody that cares, these are the graphic settings that I use. Boom, boom, have fun. Cool. So all you have to do now is go into your game. Let it load. I will notice at the top left that our frame rate, once my reshade disappears, we'll notice that our frame rate is sitting at 30 FPS. We're going to hit our hotkey. We'll tap back into our window. We'll hit our hotkey. And our frame rate immediately jumps up. It is really that simple. Hope this helps and have fun.